They'll be calling you a radical, and I don't want to hear any shit about the wind. I like the wind because it's where the wind blows, it's where the water flows. Is this the Pacific Ocean, the Pacific Genocide? It's one of my favorite places. I love this spot. What a what a view. What a view. Now this is the Great Salt Lake. I want to talk about being an environmentalist in Utah and I hope you can hear me. I hope you can hear me. Wow. How spectacular is it today? Wow. Right over here on the other side of the mountain, I'm going to go out there today. People confuse the burn plant. Now that's Kennecott, the queen stack. I used to work there. The gold comes right out of there, gets right on trains, right to Canada, right to the queen. All you gold hoarders. I'm going to go out to the grassy mountain burn facility and then the government burn facility, Lakeside, and then Argonite. The energy solution dump site. I, I spent a lot of my life there protesting. Christina wrote that beautiful article for Climate View. She came out here and, you know, I want to talk about as being a real environmentalist in Utah, the price that I've had to pay. I've been it my whole life. I never sold out. I ain't singing for Pepsi. Either. I never fucking sold out. Never. Ever. I protest all the time all over these places. I'm by my own. I'm by myself. This is the place that should be protesting the hardest. I'm it. I am fucking it, for real. I am it. You know, Kerry Gallagher came here. Wall Stegner, I knew it personally. Everybody thinks he was calm, cool, cool. No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. He's fucked just as much as I did. Edward Abbey. They all fucked here for a very good... We're the cancer capital of the world here. We're the autism capital of the world here for a reason. 350 open air tests in Nevada. Yeah, but it's much more than that. They burn nuclear waste. The photo she put up there, that's Grassy Mountain, Clean Harbor's burn facility. It's on the other side. They hide them out there. You know, with all these dynamics, Lakeside, the government burn facility, energy slew. I got the cows kicked out. They were drinking water directly out of, so radioactive. What was the price I paid for that? I was kicked off Medicaid the next day. And if you don't think that's for real, who do you think put Tim to Christopher in solitary, Mike Lee? I mean, I'm up against it. These people hate me. They want me dead. When I got cancer, acute leukemia, most of this state was rooting for me to die. For real. Because I'm an environmentalist. Now let me tell you, a middle-aged white male who talk I mean, this is the racism capital. What Clyde Bundy said and what he's up to, that's how Mormons think. Oh, yeah. Ha, <laughs> ha. That was great. Another reason I love that spot. I used to ride the Zephyr from here all the way across, but I used to go across the lake. I live over there. Mmm, the smell is so spectacular here today. Wow. The community, I come from the most infamous Mormon bloodlines there are. Without all four of my grandpa, I mean the infamous of the Emerson Day one. They weren't these hairsprayed fuckers. They'd roll over in there. They'd spit in their faces. I like to come right here because under the underpass is the swallows. This swallows get When I was a kid living out here in the middle of nowhere, the ancient lake floor built up these giant berms. And the swallows nest in the berm. By the tens of places that nobody had ever seen except for Native Americans. I saw them. I grew up on that edge. I explored. That's what I do. I could take you on dirt roads and back roads from the back of my house all the way to California. When Fawcett was killed and shot down in the area, I've been all over in that dynamic. They shot him down, by the way. I know secret places. I know everybody out here. That's what I do. Because I love the desert, and I'm in symphony with the landscape. I love the landscape here. I love this place as far as the beauty of nature. I hate the culture, and I hate the people, but they will go. They will pass. And we will be with the hateless culture and human history. The environmentalist group here, Richard Rhodes came to the University of Utah. By the way, the guy who teaches Stegner's own program is a scummy piece of fucking shit. Hill of Utah scum. They're all fucking scum. All they want to do is raise money, raise it. They, they're not environmentalists. They're not activists. I'm an environmentalist. I'm an activist. And Walsh Stegner told me, Kevin, you choose this road, you're going to choose one lonely, lonely road, and you will never get any. I'm on my own. I, don't, I get no support from nobody. 
Volvo came here with a central line hanging out of my chest. I, I was doing this. I never wavered from inside my hospital room. Given two months to live 33 months ago. I get no support from no one. I'm not just a keyboard actress. I'm not just a face on YouTube. I'm so, so much more. I'm so connected to this landscape. And right to the root of my bone marrow. I love it. And I love my grandchildren. I love my children. And I, I, when San Onofre brought the generator here, I was full of critical condition. We went out there, me and another old, old activist who's from Nevada, who's recently passed. Wow. Lit up, fighting with the freaking security guards. Dirty Herbie. The University of Utah, Mary, all of them. They have these little clubs. Richard Road come here and did his play. His publicist asked him where Kevin Black's from. This is always not invited. I've been railroaded off our universities. I was teaching the number one MBA program in the country for free. But well, they're paying me cash under the table because the legendary Clyde Cooley. I've done all this at the University of General Electric. I've stuck it right up in their fucking necks, in their fucking throat. There's a method behind this madness, and it will play out. This is literature in real time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Pacific genocide, very, very fucking real. We in Utah know it. My father nuked to death. My activism was even before his tragic, horrible death, that beautiful person that he was. I'll continue to fight. I'll do it on my own. John Kirk sent me a little bit of money up there in Canada. Jeff up there in Canada. Thomas Ackerman up there in Canada. Clark in the Bay Area. You know, Lonnie Clark in Eugene, Oregon. Eric Jordan in New Zealand. You know, these people have supported me and stood by my side, but I go on these gigs, nobody will go with me. I know every inch, I know every dynamic. I'll try to get out there today and talk about where they're burning nuclear waste all over us. Utah's accepted cancer because Utah's gone for the contemporary culture on Balco. They accept it, they're all in. They're all in. The swallows are here, the short birds are still. The Greaves right here when the Greaves supposedly just flew into the ground and committed suicide. That's what the state will tell you. And then the eagles fed right here, right here. This is where the eagles fed on the Greaves and then the eagles all freaking died. It's radiation, it's nuclear fallout. The 40,000 Marines, my father wants special force nuked to death. Never got a penny, never got that. I, my activism matters. The only monument for a nuclear murdered atomic veteran is at our cemetery. That's my work. I, I've had a lot of successes. Getting the cows kicked out of that. Yeah, I have hundreds of them. You know, no one will ever know them. That's okay. Blue Castle, I'm the one that got them shut down here on the fucking green. I've done a lot of things with my life for a whole lifetime of activism. You know, Christina, I realized one thing about her. She's a beautiful photographer when she was here. and She got to learn a little bit of my mind and learn about what I do and how I do it. It's a very lonely fight I'm on. I am it. I'm it in the whole fucking state. There are one serious anti-nuclear activist here. One environmentalist in the entire fucking state. There's only one. You think about that. Vincent Van Gogh never sold a penny. Michelangelo living in fear. Jackson Pollock pissing in the freaking Guggenheim's. I'll go right up to the fucking University of Utah next time they have one and I'll piss in their fucking fireplace. <laughs> Environmentalists. The fucking mass murder. Helen Caldecott, Chris Busby, Marty Gundershield. Fuck they ain't environmentalists. They've never accomplished one fucking thing in their life. Not one fucking thing. Sad comment. What a view, huh? How beautiful is this? Wow. Stand to